What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm really excited to be bringing you an unboxing of a warrantied out knife. <laughs> nope, not a new knife boxing today. This one here is actually from We. They um, could not fix my conspirator. They had it for about five weeks and I got the email and they just decided to send me a brand new knife. So let's dive in here and see what this second new cogent looks like and how it is out of the box. Today's unboxing knife is going to be my Wee Beacon. I've carried this now for the second time. I am blown away by how much I actually really like this knife. It is super duper thin very nice to carry has a good weight to it almost don't even feel it in the pocket really like the stone wash look on it loving the ergos and the access to the lock bar and the action is breaking in the fuller works really good flipper tab works really good has nice duty tint nice tuning pocket clip goes in and out of the pocket smooth i'm just blown away by how much I'm actually liking this knife and how much I've warmed up to it. I'm going to put it through the paces a little bit, get some um, cardboard cut, and uh, see how I like the performance of Wii's 20CV. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the box. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, leave a like, consider subscribing, and turning that notification bell to all so that you can get alert whenever new content drops so you can decide what you want to see. Thank you all of you out there that are supporting me already. It means the world to me and I appreciate it very much. All right, let's see here. We're gonna flip that over because I can see into the package and it has some of my information on the package as well. Let's go ahead and pull out this brand new cogent and have a look at it. He did inform me that he had taken the tape off to inspect it and make sure that everything was in order with my new replacement cogent. All the typical swag in here, your Elementum stickers, CVV stickers, microfiber cloth. I really do like the felt padding they put in here. It does feel really nice. Nothing about this budget knife experience feels cheap to me all right so here we are with the brand new replacement for my purple cogent <laughs> um not really a whole lot i can say from that experience perspective i guess if you happen to tune in and you didn't see the first one i'll go through an overview of the knife really quick for you and i can even tell you about my experience because i have carried it for so long already so i really like the g10 it's very textured without being so rough that it's going to eat at the pocket, going in and out of the pocket. I love the low profile flipper tab and the jimping on here. Really nice, good to get to. Let's check the lockup. Okay, so the detent feels a little dry. Might need some oil and breaking in maybe. Came Where's the blade tip? <laughs> Came centered. Yep, nice and centered. So I'm sure with him inspecting it, everything's going to be in order. Pocket clip is uh, tight, but it has such a uh, duck bill on it or a goose neck on it that it sits up plenty high, which was one of my complaints. And I do have my old Elementum pocket clip ready to go for that. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. All right. Looks like it's got plenty of packing grease on it still. I do like the clip point shape of this blade. The hammer head doesn't really off offend me too much. I mean, it would have probably been cool just to have it on the bottom and not the top and have it smooth through there. I think it would have looked a little bit better, but I like this clip point blade and these uh, 14C, where is it on the bottom tab? That 14C28N, really good. Stone wash is looking really good on this. Let's check out that button lock. Yeah, it's a little, might, I don't know if it's dry or if it's the coated blade because my other one had broken in. I'm gonna give it a few flips while we talk. The ergonomics on here, I felt like they were really good. I appreciated the fact that it had a thicker handle and hand, so it kind of filled out the hand because it is a bit more slender. I also really like the index finger cut out here and the hand feeling like it's really locked in for this particular carry and, this, and the handle on this knife feeling really good. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if there was any lock rock. No lock rock. 
and just a hint just a hint of button stick this thing definitely needs to probably come apart and get a little oil the action feels a little stiff let's see if I can fail it yeah you can fail it if you really concentrate and really try you can fail it but if you just you know regular usage it'll be fine I just think that the bearings feel dry or maybe the coating on the blade needs to be broken in it might have been that I'd fidgeted with my other one so much that it had already broken in but being that I actually have a review what I'll do if I can remember is leave a link here to the initial review of the Civivi Cogent so you can check that out what happened with this knife it developed lock rock you could hear it ticking this one's locked up solid and it has just a hint so what I'm doing behind there is so you can hear it that's what I was doing back there just a hint of lock uh, lock stick and I actually prefer um, these button locks to have a tiny bit of lock stick because it lets me know that the tolerances are all tight. The lock rock developed because of the fact that the stop pin, which this part of the blade rests against this way so it doesn't move back this way, and the button which, keeps the, which locks the blade from moving up. So these two kind of compress the blade into this corner to keep it from moving. With the um, button lock, I believe what happened, they probably didn't have the tolerances right on the button for the cogent that I sent back. And I'm speculating because I didn't get any feedback. I'm thinking because they couldn't repair that, um, they replaced the knife. The only other thing that I could think of is perhaps the tolerances on the, the knife blade itself weren't correct and they just found that it was too much wrong with it or they didn't have the parts they needed to fix it which is another reason they could have had it so long so they just elected to replace this one they'll probably refurbish the parts towards another cogent um, in-house if any of the parts are, are serviceable if not they'll probably just melt it all down and start over or something like that the warranty experience they were very eager to help eager to assist they responded to my email right away requesting warranty work I provided the information. I did pay for shipping for that to go back to We Civivi, and they paid to ship it back to me. Um, they updated me when they received the package. They were very clear about the timeline, that it was up to two weeks before they'd even get to working on the knife. They had it five weeks, and that's when I heard back that I was getting a replacement. All in all, not a bad warranty experience. I think my favorite warranty experience, not that I love to warranty the knife out because I got to send it in and it's a little frustrating and annoying to have to deal with. But Benchmade has by far the best. I would say second would be uh, Hogue. I had to send in for an Omega Spring for Hogue and they were probably four weeks. Um, and then Civivi was five before they notified me that they were going to send me my knife. And then roughly about another week after that is when I got it in the mail. So that's just a little update. I wanted to share that experience with you. This will remain in my inventory because I feel like there's a lot of people out there with cogents and I think it'll be beneficial for you all to know not just how the unboxing and the initial impressions went, but that I did have a defect and I did have to send it in for warranty and then long term, right? Like how long is this knife gonna last? You're spending about 70 bucks on this or give or take, depending on the variant and the model. How's the 14C? 28N holding up. How how's the coated blade looking after some use? Um, I I wanted the purple initially. I really liked the purple, but I have actually picked up some writ dye, and I'm just gonna black this all out. I'm gonna murder black it out. I'm gonna try to black out the pivot as well. I'll document all of that if you're interested and want to see how that comes out. In case you want to pick up one and try to do a color uh, on your own, because I think there is. Um, a JG10 version that you can die and uh, don't you worry I'm gonna be flipping this as much as I can I'll let you know it already feels like it's starting to yeah it's starting to starting to break in a little bit but I'm gonna just clean it out and throw some lube on there just to make sure everything's in order and I will definitely keep you updated on this one and we will see 
how Project Cogent works out. Very nice uh, for their first flipper button lock, right? They had the Elementum button lock, but that was just a true button lock. You could only open and deploy it with the button lock. And this one here has a is their first version that has the second means of deployment. And I think also if you get your finger right up underneath where that grind stops, you can you can you can reverse flick this one out, which is kind of fun. I missed. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Actually, I was too high. Where am I putting my finger? Oh, it's underneath this um, swedge. OK, yeah. The further down you go, the more leverage you have to torque it out. So kind of cool. I'll update you guys. Let me know if you have any questions about this warranty claim, about the Cogent or anything like that. Hopefully this is helpful to you. If you did enjoy the video again, please leave a like. It does help me. Consider subscribing. Switch, slap that notification bell. Make sure that it has all selected so you get alerts for all future content. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed for your support. I hope you have a fantastic week. Stay sharp. Until next time, peace.